Here we go. Almond Auctions is the world's leader in antique tractor auctions. Collectors have been turning to Almond Auctions for over 35 years. We've conducted auctions across the United States, Canada, and Europe. Whether you're looking to sell one of your antique tractors or an entire collection, Almond Auctions delivers personal service and understands your passion for antique tractors. Product knowledge and world record selling prices makes Almond the best choice for your next auction. Contact us today with all your tractor buying or selling needs. Welcome back to Classic Tractor Fever, as today we're talking about muscle tractors. Now generally, muscle tractors are thought of as the 1960s, 70s, and even into the 1980s. But our next machine dates back to the late 1950s. Let's check in with Alex Fuselet as he looks over a Fordson. So this is a uh, Fordson major diesel tractor. Uh, and part of that is uh, that makes this unique is the fact that it's a diesel and it's a front wheel assist. So this front wheel assist is actually a conversion uh, that, that was offered by Fordson. Uh, these were offered for a couple of years before they actually started making their own. This is a roadless uh, front, front end. So uh, Fordson's, uh, you know, of course, started out here. Uh, they were exported, and then uh, uh, later on, that production was moved over into England. So a lot of the uh, English uh, Fordson diesels, they were they were built over there eventually, and uh, actually they've got a great following over there. I think this is probably one of the the earlier what you'd call muscle tractors. I mean, it's front wheel assist, diesel. It's got all those uh, kind of components to it. They've got it weighted up here. So I mean, it was it was it's only 40 horse, so it's not big muscle, but but still kind of that still muscle feel. So this tractor actually is in great condition. It runs and drives really well. Uh, everything works as it should. You know, it's it's kind of a you know one that you could get out there and play with. It, it'd be a lot of fun actually. It'd be something different, and uh, you know, it's not an overly big tractor. You could kind of take to a plow uh, show and plow with it a little bit, put, take it on the trailer and take it home. It's different from anything that you're gonna see at the shows. Uh, you know, this is something that's more common in the UK or uh, overseas than it is in the US. So this is something unique that you can kind of show off. And the fact that it has one of the early roadless uh, front ends under it to give it that full wheel drive, that's uh, that's another unique point. So it's, it's kind of a, a I don't know, it's something different for the show that, uh, that you're not going to see uh, when, you, when you take this there. I think a collector uh, would probably enjoy something like this just because it has uh, that old uh, forts and history combined with the new muscle. So it's, it's got the best of both worlds, and it's also got the fact that it's a little something different for, especially here in the US. I think it can be something that uh, can be shown, be talked about, like, you know, the, the fact that this was built in the UK and brought over here, and, uh, you know, it's just very different from what, uh, what we had at that point in time in the US. So we're seeing a lot of interest uh, from collectors in the U.S. for foreign tractors uh, like this that were built outside the U.S. and uh, built in maybe Germany, the U.K., and other uh, countries. The fact that this has been brought over from the U.K., I mean, obviously there's a, there's a lot fewer of them in the U.S., so I think that adds to the collectability of this. Uh, you know, it, it, a lot of collectors uh, want something different for the shows that, you know, I mean, nobody can go, uh, it, it'd be really hard to just go get one of these, obviously. Uh, you'd have to go uh, find one in England, probably, and put it in a container and ship it over. So, I mean, there are a lot of costs involved. It's already here, so it's, uh, you know, obviously uh, pretty collectible here, uh, maybe more so than it is in the UK. When you've got a tractor that is uh, restored like this, this is kind of an older restoration, uh, you know, you could, uh, you could go one, uh, you know, a couple different ways with it. Uh, you know, some guys might want to restore this uh, completely back to its glory. I mean, uh, you know, the whole automotive paint job. Uh, or some guys may just want to leave it as is, uh, you know, and, and take it out to the field and use it and not, not worry about a new paint job. So really, you, you kind of got the option of, of both. Uh, so it's kind of, uh, 
uh, you, really anybody can choose uh, where to take it from there. The thing that I like the best about this Fordson is the fact that it is a front wheel assist and a diesel. So, uh, you know, it, ha it does have that big tractor feel. And, uh, but all, also you could uh, put this on a small car hauler trailer and take it to the show and bring it back home with no, uh, no real fuss.